Last time, we built the air intake and found the parts needed for the combustion chamber on our Dragon Rocket Stove. Before the combustion chamber is cemented in, the guys need to install the smoke exhaust pipe. That's gonna be pretty tough to get in there, aren't it? It'll be tough to get it down. The exhaust, pretty much, is just heat, steam, and a little bit of smoke. Everything else combusts in here and burns. Ash and creosote that builds up typically in a regular fireplace flue is really non-existent here. You don't get that amount because it's all reburnt in the combustion chamber. The main heat is right here, honestly, and this is our combustion chamber is all steel. So everything after this is pretty much it's not hot enough to really do anything. And it's cheaper, so bonus. We're at the point now where we'd like to go ahead and set the combustion chamber up here. So we're kind of excited, it's the first part of the, the actual plumbing of this thing. That's it. We're adding in um, some additional foundation pieces here so that we can support this wall of cob that'll be going up here. To get it up near the height where we need to start doing the cobbing. about the clean out shed. Shay, do you want something that looks like that? Because we'll be mudding around this. Yeah. And we need this accessible so we can pull this cap off. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Okay. It would go up and out, but I just need a fairly sharp turn so that I can get... Where do just, you need it to just bend end up? It. We need to go out up there. But eventually this has got to go this way, goes out there, and zigzags this way, and then up. That's the plan. Okay. We ran out of corners, so I guess we're done for the day. We have a vent right here that's supposed to vent the subfloor that's underneath the floor that we're going to be putting here. And since we have dirt down here, it's nice to have a little bit of airflow in the subfloor to the outside. So that be the height of the steps is the top of the floor that's going to be put in here. And you can see there's a difference. Um, they're, oh, I don't know, 18 inches there, maybe a little less. The floor is going to set at that height. It's going to be right about here. So the floor will be setting at this point. So that continues all the way around the building. Yeah, and the vent needs to be below, to be below the grade of the, of the floor. So that's how the vent ties in. We're not professionals uh, with rocket stoves uh, installing and all that you know we're just uh, like everybody else you know none of us has a <laughs> none of us has a degree at the university in rocket stove technology uh, but we just learn as we go our corners now so we can uh, finish her up eight inch for uh, a six inch pipe <gasps> bigger these are seven get up we had just gotten back from the store we we got the wrong uh elbow it fits on your head it's too big <laughs> It will be too small. The wrong size. It does not fit. Okay, Shay, hand me nail, hammer. Big one or the small one? The one that I can use. You want the big one. And I can only hope that I am taping on the right seam. Can test it now, so let's do that. I think Dad's a little okay. excited to okay. test it. It's pretty warm though. Yeah, it's too hot to the touch. Are we getting any rocket sounds? Oh. The heat's leading off the combustion chamber. <laughs> By the time it gets to the very top, we've captured most of the heat out of that wall, and then we'll be exiting very little heat, just a little steam, a little bit of smoke. An easy way to, to load it, too, from the front. And uh, we'll just keep testing it. Here's the intake pipe. We're gonna do a quick test to see uh, about the inflow. A little piece of the Super Adobe bags. Yeah, sucks it right in. So far, so good. 
Rocket stoves are not like a traditional fireplace. It just burns a small amount of wood. I mean, we just use little chunks that we've been using from building the earth bag bedrooms. There's a lot of heat right in this area, but right up here on the stove, I mean, that's like a dryer vent. So all the heat is going into the bench itself. I guess it burns slowly, but it just retains the heat. That wraps up the update on the rocket stove. Stay tuned next time when we progress more on it. We'll be posting the Thanksgiving Halloween special on or before Thanksgiving as a follow-up to the Halloween musical. And of course, our weekly peak on Friday. If we don't see you before then, Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Wow, are you gonna, are you gonna live? That's pretty bad. It's a lot of blood loss, but who knows? I might live. You might? Now we can say we've put our blood and sweat and tears into this building. Nice pipe. You can tell by the way it fits snugly on my head. Calling all aliens.